this could go really badly. It literally won't come out, it's so stuck. This is where it gets tough. Why is it not coming out? Oh my god, it's really not moving. Oh, oh, mommy. This took a stupid amount of time. What is that? I may or may not have the needle stuck in my ear. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna pass out. Sit down. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video, especially this one, because this one was a whirlwind. Yes, I have a mini Christmas tree in my room. Um, I get a lot of comments about that every time I show it and in my brain it doesn't really register because I'm so used to it, obviously. I have it here all year round. I think I bought it like three years ago. I don't know, I really like it and if I moved it from there, that would look really empty. So she stays. So in this video we are doing a glow up because I don't know if you can see, but I really need one. It gets quite extreme, I'm not gonna lie. Just keep watching. Now you may have noticed noticed the earrings that I'm wearing and you may have gone oh Gemma those are so nice and that's what I said too. This video is very kindly sponsored by a company called Ana Luisa. They're obviously where my earrings are from and they have sent me a few other pieces. They all came in this beautiful little jewellery box which has a cute little drawer which is so good because whenever I usually buy jewellery I literally gets lost somewhere around my room I'll take it off and leave it on a table and I never see them again and those jewellery pieces never see the light of day again also all the pieces come in really cute little dust bags and I'm actually gonna put this necklace on now because that's the best way to show you. Also, this necklace goes so well with this outfit. Wow. You don't know what you're missing you don't know what you're missing till you got it. Oh, you don't know what you miss. You don't know what you had till it's gone. I don't know whatever the phrase is, but I do know that this necklace is beautiful and I love it. Anyway, they are a luxury jewelry brand, but when I tell you their prices are good, I really mean it. Their jewelry starts at like thirty quid. You can still order these; they're still delivering, and they have a fifteen percent sale right now. So if you're looking for a present for your mum, your sister, your girlfriend, I don't know how many boys I have watching this, but it's a good shout. They literally have an entire range. Start Starting from 30 quid, as I said, to 14 karat gold. So, whatever your budget, babe, you can go and choose something. All the gold is recycled, which is really cool, and is tarnish free, which is so good because that means it's not gonna be changing color or rubbing off dirty little marks onto your skin. If you haven't already checked out their website or their Instagram, I'm gonna leave all the details below. Without further ado, let's see me attempt to transform this. So, uh, this could go really badly. If you don't know, I usually have acrylics on these bad boys. Obviously, I was meant to be going away for three months, so I got them taken off, and now we're in quarantine. So, for this glow up video, our first step is to do them by myself. So I was basically going to attempt acrylic, but that might be a bit, a little bit difficult. So we're doing an in-between. I'm going to be doing polygel. I'd never heard of polygel until I was trying to buy acrylic. You still get long fake nails, but you don't use powder, you use this gel instead. I've seen lots of videos of people trying to do this, and it looks very difficult. Um, I'm not a professional. So this is gonna be interesting. Here is my gel, I got white. I have this little tool, which is really cute, first of all, in the little pink. This is what you get the gel out of, the pot with. And then this is the little brush that you like, mold the gel with, if that makes sense. I've got a no acid primer. And you're meant to use a slip solution. I don't have slip solution. I couldn't find any slip solution on Amazon that wasn't gonna take like four years to come. So we're using nail varnish remover. <laughs> Hopefully that's gonna work. God, I've also got a nail file. Let's see how this goes. First, I'm gonna clip my normal nails down, push my cuticles back, and then I will get back to you in a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna put a layer of primer on and then cure it in my light that doesn't work unless it's on a table. How sick would this be if this actually works? I just don't imagine I'm gonna be very good at this. What is going on? Okay, right, I don't, I don't know if that works. Kind of look like a librarian now, but we move. I'm gonna start with my little finger because that's the least damaging. So first we're gonna get one of the tips. Measure to see which size fits my little pinky. Is that the smallest size? Why do I feel like that one's smaller? Why do I think eight is smaller than nine? Oh, okay, that fits really well. Right, this is where it gets tough. I'm gonna get a little lump and then we 
put it into there and then we're gonna get the little brush end and we're gonna get it wet with the nail varnish remover okay this is not that easy okay I'm, i have no idea how thick to make this so basically you just have to keep spreading this gel okay, jesus this is taking forever okay we're just gonna put it on my nail now and then we cure it so under there is a nail and once this is cured we just pop off the little plastic bit on top oh 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 i've done it oh i've done it so this is what it looks like. <laughs> She's a little bit messy, but I'm gonna file this down. I, I'm kind of in shock. Look at that. Like that looks like a fake nail to me. That's crazy town. And I'm gonna do the rest of my, this hand and I will get back to you. It's been taking a while, I'm not gonna lie, but we have our first hand complete. Look at that. There we go. I need to paint them and then we'll see how they look. But I am seriously impressed, honestly. Okay, update on the nails. I was just doing a workout with my mother and this <laughs> happened. Basically, I painted them and they looked so pretty and this nail's just come off. <laughs> and about 5,000 years later, I look really, really rough because it is midnight. But I have finally finished my nails. This took a stupid amount of time so i'm just gonna show you before they all fall to pieces so here is my other hand honestly i think they look really good i mean they'll probably look better on camera because you can't really see i can't promise that by the end of this video i'm still gonna have these nails they look pretty for now okay the next part of this video is potentially gonna be the most damaging hello hi Everyone is here for moral support. I am gonna pierce my own ear Because obviously we can't go to a piercing shop, but we're doing my third lobe piercing What if it gets infected? Then we deal with that when it happens. <laughs> I'll see you when I am getting a needle put through my ear Let's go. Okay, the first step. I've got boiling water in there and I'm gonna put the needle in this is the earring we're gonna put through after. Well, this is how it's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Let's put this over here with the rest of our equipment. And I've got some icing to clean your ear. Okay, good. Okay, oh, icing oh, your ear. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed mm -hmm. to numb it. <laughs> put your phone down. <laughs> when do you want me to go? Do you want, to, do you want me just to do it? Like, Don't do you want to sit? Down, just do it. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I can hear it crunch in the apple. <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting. Ew, ow, don't take it out, don't take no, it out. No, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, stop. Oh my god. You just pull the needle out, and then I'll move the apple, and then you can try and put the earring through. Uh oh. Demo, it's not happening. What do you mean? This earring's really, really blunt. <laughs> Shall I do it? Try. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna pass out. Sit down. <laughs> Go. My ear is closing up as we speak. Take two. Let's go. Ow. 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 That hurt way more. Ow. 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 Oh my god. Why did that hurt so much more? Ow. That's definitely another hole. Ow. Ow. It was the same one. It went in the same place. Mm. I think it's just because it just closed up. Has it gone through? <laughs> Let's leave it for like five minutes. It stings. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay. Well, I made it look real worse now. It's like you're bleeding everywhere. <laughs> cool. So the needle's just chilling in my ear. It looks the, worse than it is. The second time. Yeah. Because the first time we took it out after like a minute and tried to put the earring in and it didn't work. We should probably disinfect the earring again. We it's covered in iodine that's not blood, but I don't even know if you can see it. We're gonna leave it in for 15 minutes this time and just let it like marinate. I would not recommend piercing your own ear at home. Bro, just pull it out. Why are you touching the back? Because I'm scared it's gonna... It's really stuck in your ear. It literally won't come out, it's so stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's really not moving. Mom's oh, coming back. <laughs> I may or may not have put the needles stuck in my ear. <laughs> Move straight out. <laughs> oh, I can't. It's not coming out. <laughs> Mommy. No, do not call mum. <laughs> this really hasn't gone well. I'm not going to lie to you. Why is it not coming out? Just come out, please. Ah, 
Well done. Well done, well done. Yes. Quickly, quickly, quickly. If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to give up. Oh, this is really just like giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, okay. <laughs> give up. I've come so far. <laughs> I'm giving up, Mum. Well, that went well. So, answer, I'm giving up. So annoying, because I literally just pierced my ear twice. I don't even have anything to show for it. I just don't know. I probably should have got a thicker needle, I guess. I just used one of the little sewing ones that my mum had, because it was the sharpest one. Yeah, it's definitely not thick enough to stick an earring through. This definitely didn't add to any kind of glow up. But let's go. I can't talk very loudly because it is very late at night and the rest of my family are asleep. And I should be too, but I'm gonna fake tan instead. Also, yeah, my nails haven't survived. It's been like two days, so that's great. So I have a lot of fake tan, but most of it is empty. So this is the one I'm gonna use. I always use Saint Moritz or Loving Tan. This is actually the fast one, which you, which does it in like three hours, but I always wear it to bed anyway. I usually use the normal one, but I've run out of that. Um, so I'm gonna put this on now, and then I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. We're gonna wash it off. I'm very tired, so I'm gonna get this done as quickly as possible, which means it's probably gonna be really bad. <laughs> I can't, I really can't turn the camera the other way around because it's scary. I mean, what has happened to this cheek? I can't tell if I look more orange or more green. Ugh, I'm gonna say orange. Anyways, I'm gonna get in the shower and wash this off and hopefully this doesn't look as bad when I've washed it off. Um, not sure it's better. This is by far the worst tan I've ever done and I have no idea why it's come out so patchy. So I think the moral of the story is I need to get a new tan. These ones are probably too old. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna do a full face of makeup and get dressed and we are gonna see the transformation, maybe. Oh, this has been a whirlwind. <laughs> I, I don't really know what else to say. This is the worst tan I think I've ever done. I'm convinced this whole video has been cut. Ouch. I'm convinced this whole video has been cursed. My tan is really patchy. I don't know if you can see this, but it's really grim here and on my fingers and on my legs and everywhere. It's just not good and I just don't know why because I tan all the time and I know how to do it and usually it's a lot better than that. Have a little faith in me. I've done my makeup. I was gonna do a full face and do eyelashes and all the jazz, all that jazz, but it's so hot and sunny outside. I actually don't want to put foundation and eyeliner and blah, 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 blah on. I've just just change the lighting so you can see maybe a bit better how bad this situation is if anyone knows what has gone on please help because it's disgusting so I'm just gonna cover it up so you don't have to look at it for the rest of this video this glow up was interesting didn't really do anything I'm thinking I might dye my hair for a video I mean considering how bad the rest of this is gone I, that seems like a stupid idea but I'm willing to do it anyway so give this a massive thumbs up if you want to see me bleach my hair a massive thank you again to Anna Louisa for sponsoring this video i'm gonna leave all the jewelry that i got in the description don't forget to go and check that out at the end of this and subscribe if you have never seen this face before i'm gonna stop talking you've probably got better things to do with your life than listen to me thank you so much for watching um yeah i hope you have a lovely day and i will see you in my next video